Hello from Galway on the west coast of Ireland. Ireland's fourth largest city. Not a very big place, pretty compact, easy to walk around, and it is bustling here. It might feel like it's bigger than it actually is when you're walking around here in the city center. It's a really fun and lively place. Lots of tourists, lots of young people. It's a big college town. I hear it has a bit of a reputation as a party town too. And well, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon on a Friday, so I could probably guess that at 1.30 at night, on a Friday night, it probably will be even crazier than this here. But Galway has a very fun reputation and it, you would think that it's the second largest city in Ireland. It's actually the fourth. Cork is actually bigger than Galway. But Galway is directly across from Dublin over on the west side of Ireland. And because it has a well-known university here and because it's the main point on the west coast of Ireland, it is a place that many people go to when they visit Ireland. So I figured I would come and check it out myself. So let's walk around a little bit here and also go and check out the Galway Museum and learn a little bit more about this little town, or I should say this little city here on the west coast of Ireland. So as you might expect, with Galway being on the west coast of Ireland, the weather is often windy here and very unpredictable. Earlier today, we actually had storm force winds and a driving heavy rain all morning. It actually kind of threatened to make my one full day here in Galway um, a bit more difficult than it's turning out to be now that the storm has kind of passed and sun is out and the rain has stopped. And don't bellyache about the weather. Just prepare for it, get on with it, enjoy your time here because Galway is a nice little city. You have the Galway City Museum right here next to the Spanish Arch, which is right here next to where I'm standing by the river here. And so let's go ahead and check it out. Museum is free. Uh, one thing that is really cool about Ireland in general, not just here, but a lot of museums are free. So it's very easy to learn a lot about whatever city you're at by going to the free museum. So that was a nice visit to the City Museum of Galway. As I mentioned, it's free, so while it's open, you can go in there, spend as much time as you need to kind of learn about not just Galway, it's not really specifically about Galway. There's a lot of things generally about Ireland. Ireland's history, both the human and the natural part of the history. And also there's even an exhibition, at least now, in the time that I'm visiting here in the fall of 2022, an exhibition about climate change. Of course, Galway being on the west coast of Ireland, on the front lines of the wild North Atlantic, it does get impacted by climate change in a unique way. Now let's walk up to the nearby Latin Quarter specifically Key Street, because that is where there's a lot of great things to eat and I'm hungry. The Latin Quarter is always bustling, especially when it gets 
closer to dinner time like now, especially on a Friday when it gets closer to dinner time like now. Why is it called the Latin Quarter though? Well, to the best of my knowledge, it has to do with the fact that Galway, being on the west coast of Ireland, was founded originally as a fishing village and naturally because of its location there was a lot of contact with Spain and Portugal, so obviously that had a lot of influence on the makeup of the city, on the history of the city here, so this is most likely, uh, if somebody's from here and it's not that reason and it's something else, feel free to let me know, but to the best of my knowledge this is why this is called the Latin Quarter. But really the Latin Quarter nowadays mainly exists as an area where there's a lot of restaurants, a lot of pubs of course, particularly up Key Street like I'm doing right now. If you're looking for a pint or if you're looking for some good food, this is the place to go. So here at McDonough's, you just walk in, go up to the counter, order what you want. Everything is separate, including the fish and the chips. If you want both, make sure you tell them both. Um, so you can just order separately every food and drink that you want, and then just have a seat and they'll bring it to you, or if it's ready right away, they'll just serve it up to you right there and then find a seat. Simple as that. You're in a city that was founded as a fishing village right on the Atlantic coastline, so you might as well just go with fish and keep it simple with a fish and chips and a beer. Not bad. Pricey, but look, everything is pricey in Ireland now, especially if you're gonna go out to eat, especially if you're gonna have a beer with your meal. Even a simple fish and chips like that is going to be close to 20 euros. But let's go top that off with a pint in another place. I don't know where, but just walk up the street and have a pint to top off that fish and chips with. Galway hooker, IPA. If I were to tell you that I'm gonna have a Galway hooker after having dinner in Galway, you probably wouldn't think I'm talking about beer. And there is a thing called the Galway hooker, which is not beer, that's just what this particular one is named after. Apparently, according to what I read at the city museum earlier, it has to do with a kind of ship that comes from here. So, here's to the ship, here's to Galway, and here's to the Irish hooker in drinkable form. Thank you very much for the Galway hookers. <laughs> Well, those two Galway hookers treated me very nicely at the pub in the Latin Quarter, but now I have walked down to the seaside at the end of this nice day here in Galway, and it's kind of crazy looking out over not quite the open Atlantic Ocean, but pretty close to it, and realizing that in a certain direction there's no other land until you get to North America. But here is where I will conclude this quick tour on this quick day here in Galway on the west coast of Ireland. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed to Global Nico Travel already. For those of you that haven't, go ahead and subscribe. You have nothing left to lose. Come on. And hit the like button, of course, on this video. And most importantly, be sure to take care and travel better.